Good morning, y'all. Today is a very exciting day because we are getting our freaking couch. I am so pumped and I'm so pumped and this might even be the day that I got my internet in this apartment. We were without internet for about a week and you know, it was torture and everything, but not having like a really nice couch and like a comfortable couch in your living room that is like a different feeling so i don't know i'm just very very excited to finally get my couch and like actually see what it's gonna look like and feel like and look like in this room too because when we were measuring it out it was huge and i feel like right now there's so much open space and i feel like we're like getting too used to that so i'm wondering like what that's gonna feel like i actually just got the call from the delivery guy that he's like en route to my apartment. And thank God that they are able to come up like the three floors because um, the last time I ordered something, what was it? Oh, I think it was this couch. Yeah, it was this um, patio furniture. Walmart dropped it off, they delivered it here and they apparently like don't do third floor deliveries. And he was like kind of mean about it. And I was like, okay, like I don't really care. like. I have a boyfriend that can help me like you don't have to be sassy like <laughs> anyway so i'm very glad that um this guy's gonna bring it all the way up here but i did not pay for the setup because i was just curious like how hard is it to set up a couch i don't know we'll find out today i guess and if i can't do it alone obviously ryan's gonna come home later after work so he can help me <laughs> All right guys, couch is freaking here. And it actually looks quite large. <laughs> and I'm kind of scared to even try to do it myself. Thank God for that delivery though, because they were like dying walking up the three floors. I felt so bad, but um, I think I kind of want to like open it up. I don't know, I'm kind of excited. But I also have some freelance work that I need to get done. And I want to get it done before noon. So I should probably do that first. I'm gonna do that first. So I'm behind the camera. I'm a little bit indecent right now, but Ryan got this. He's home from work and Bob the Builder, it's your chance to shine. I'm so excited to reveal it. This is so like, yeah. modeling in the new couch this is what it looks like um it's not like a pure white i don't know if you guys can tell but it is uh off-white i guess <laughs> um and it was from wayfair so i will link it down below i know that they're going through a little bit of a scandal right now but um i bought yeah, this literally like yeah it literally took so long i bought it way before like all that came out and stuff so um, but the one thing I saw, or Ryan saw, was this, and it's kind of, oh, yeah, it was like a string hanging, um, but it's kind of bad, especially because it's like on the front, like on the back, I don't think I would have cared as much, but that's kind of bad, especially because it was like kind of really freaking expensive, you know, like, but I'm so excited that I finally have a couch. I've always wanted this, like literally when I was like saving up money and put it in my savings, I was like, Okay, so like you're gonna get the couch you want. And that was like, and the TV, and the TV yeah. Hey y'all, so it is actually a couple weeks later. I'm not really sure when exactly I got this couch, but I wanted to finish up this vlog right here and kind of give you guys an update on my couch drama, couch situation, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so you saw that the couch was damaged and it actually was damaged in the back as well. Just a little bit in the back, but the front was way worse. 
Um, so I contacted Wayfair and at first they were really, really great about it. They said they would replace the full sofa unit. So only pretty much the part that got damaged, not the chase, because these are like two separate um, pieces and you kind of connect them at the bottom. So they were going to replace that sofa unit and I was like, okay, perfect. And they were going to like let us keep like the sofa so we could have like two sofas and we could like, you know, make it a way bigger couch. And I was kind of hyped about that because I was like, damn, that's going to be nice. So a day or two later, I got an email from Wayfair and they said that that cannot happen anymore because the seller does not um, replace like just like the one um, unit. I don't know. No, this whole thing is a unit. So they don't replace just the sofa or just the chase. They have to like replace the whole unit. So they gave me an option and they said that I could either get refunded $400 or get the whole sofa replaced. And then when they come and bring me the new sofa, they would take this whole sofa and I don't know, do whatever with it. Um, so I couldn't keep it, which I was literally going to sell like the other sofa if it didn't fit. And get more money <laughs> so i tried bargaining a little bit more because you know i like money and it would be nice to have a little bit more back just because the damage is on the front of the arm like right when you see it you can see it so i was kind of like trying to you know so i was kind of trying to haggle the 400 dollars and to get it a little bit up so unfortunately they were really just set on the $400, but I'm glad I asked because my dad always taught me the worst answer you can get is no. So I'm getting the $400 refunded back on my credit card, which is so nice because hello, that can pay off like my credit card debt. Well, I don't have debt, but you know what I mean, like my credit cards. Um, and I get this couch for way less. And I have a really good idea, but I don't know if it's going to work. So basically for this couches, I got free swatches. I don't know where they are right now. So I might order the same color of the couch. I'm thinking about cutting out the swatch and kind of like pasting it on with like glue or something. I don't know if that sounds really dumb, but I feel like it could work. Everyone's been telling me to just put a throw blanket on it, which is so freaking smart. I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place, <laughs> but I mean, it was a really expensive couch, so I kind of didn't want to just like let it go, you know, because it is on the front of the arm. <laughs> but yeah, that's my couch situation. Overall, like Wayfair's customer service is really, really good, and I really recommend this couch. Like even though, yes, it came damaged, but like at least they fixed their problems you know so I will have a link in the description for y'all to check it out I haven't linked it on my stories yet um it is kind of expensive and I I just felt a little weird like linking it on my stories which I probably will but I don't know like y'all have to understand that this was like my big girl purchase and I've been saving for this specific couch because I had it my eye on it for so long and I knew I wanted like a white sectional for my new place so I worked my butt off for this so I'm proud. So I actually just went to meet up with Ryan for lunch and we were gonna go to the sushi place because they had a really good lunch deal. But by the time we got there, first of all, it was like kind of in the city near UT. So this parking like sucked and it was really scary and people are so aggressive when they drive here. I mean, probably especially during lunchtime because you know, they gotta get back to their office, but still they're very aggressive and I feel like I've never really experienced that even in Atlanta, but I didn't really drive in the city that often. Um, but anyways, so he just got a sub from Thundercloud Subs and I came home and made a salad because I was just like, you know what, I'm going home. I'm able to make myself some food that I already have. So I made a salad and I wanted to share with you guys like what I put in it. It's probably not the like most healthy salad, but it's way better than anything else I could probably think of to make. I usually use all arugula, but I didn't find it in the store this time, so I had to use a mix of it, so I put it in there, and then I did um, strawberries, feta, blueberries. I like this salad dressing. It's um, lemon poppy seed, and then I put pecans, so it's kind of just like a sweet salad. Oh, and I put like chicken that's like already kind of cooked. It just comes in like some packets, so you just put it in the microwave and you're good to go. 
um, and it's a really yummy salad. It gets me very, very full. This is the exact salad that I usually get in a restaurant if I do get a salad. Like, I love the sweeter salad. So I'm actually in the middle of editing this vlog right now and I totally forgot to tell y'all about the coffee table that we got. So we literally hit the jackpot. I think I now can call myself a let go queen. I definitely showed you guys um, that I got one of my chairs from let go. I'll show y'all. But I added it to another vlog and it was so cool and I definitely hit the jackpot on that too because this was only, I think I got it for like $25. This chair right here. And I think it's super trendy right now. It kind of has that boho vibe. Um, and then in our living room, what we just got from Let Go is our coffee table. Sophie's following me. Do you want to show them? You want to show them? <laughs> um, we got this coffee table, and it's basically like a wood base with a glass top. Oh, okay. <laughs> it has a distressed look to it, so it's not super white but i think it is a little bit dirty there are some stains on it so we might paint another coat of white on top but i do like the distressed look so i might keep that what's really cool about this coffee table is that the couple that we bought it from said it was made in santa barbara and when we picked it up it was not even like two days after i came home from santa barbara and like carpenteria area um and i thought it was just so cool i was like wait this is like fate i feel like i needed this coffee table it made me really have good vibes so i loved the table first of all and i got it for 40 freaking dollars this table probably costed them like more than 300 dollars, especially because they said it was like custom made or something Guys, check Let Go, check Facebook Marketplace. I'm telling you guys, so many people are moving every single day and they have to get rid of like a bunch of stuff. Even before I moved out of my sorority dorm, I was trying to sell so much stuff because I wanted to minimize what I had to take back to Atlanta and to Texas. Um, and I fit it all in my car. Like everything that I had at college fit in my car on the way home. Oh wait, just kidding. That's a lie. I shipped two boxes here, but that's not that much. Like... I was pretty proud of myself. Honestly, even if you're not moving and you just want to like redecorate like your living room or a bedroom or anything, check all the apps, check Craigslist, Let Go, Facebook Marketplace because you can find some really cool shit. So that's my ramble for the day. I'm probably going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing our couch and our little home coming together. Not really home, but like you know what I mean. I'll see y'all on my next vlog. Bye!